you know, Dom, any other guy who would have found his wife on the floor in that situation might have asked, are you okay? Can I get you anything? I know, I know, Dom, this is just, this is, this is the pitch, okay? Both our families are here. The last time, it was just a fucking pipe dream, and now I actually gotta start throwing them shit, okay? What? It's Arena's fault. Because we were in the city, and she took me shopping, and she said that I look nice, and she said that I look good in green, and now I, I feel like bargain bin for Anne Fine. It's just, it's always too much when our families get together, Dom, and, and, and it's Easter, and the whole thing, and I mean, last week, and, and, and my, my sister's here, and my dad's here. Fucking God! I know, I know, I, I've, I've practiced it a thousand times, but I'm not good at speaking. Dom, I'm good at talking, I'm good at talking with you, but speaking, that's a totally different thing. And I know it's our family, but it's not any better because it's our family shit! What, what are you doing? What's the, thing, what's the thing with your face? What's happening? What's happening here? Dominic, what the fuck is going on? Okay, the last time that somebody made that face was right before I found out that my sister fucked my right hand. So I really need you to be honest with me right now. I told you about this! Wait, 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 she's, she's, she's here now? She's now in the building now? She's here now. She's not coming here, she's, she's here now. Your sister's here. Did you just find out? You couldn't have told me this earlier? You did just find out? Fuck, Dom! The last time Antonia was here was our wedding, and she didn't talk to me then, and she's not gonna talk to me now. Oh my god, or what if she does talk to me? I can't handle that right now. You know what, could you just tell everybody that I went to the bathroom? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I saw something. I saw Audrey McDonald talk about this. You breathe through your butt. You breathe through your butt, and it's supposed to, it's supposed to. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming today. Friends, family, colleagues, both and or. I am so excited to give you the official pitch for the Knights Bridge property that will be co-owned by the O'Rordans and the Dohertys. And it is also an honor and a privilege to have Michael Maraschino running the projections. So, Michael, first slide. So as you can see from the square footage listed up on our first slide, the property was built as a department store as a rival to Selfridges. As you can see, it is also three stories, which is much more space than a nightclub needs. So there will be other services provided in the building when we finally launch. We may have taken inspiration from a certain Miss Delby, and thanks to the help of our own Russian correspondents, we plan on having a pop-up art gallery as well as some private rooms for VIP guests to stay in. Uh, there's also part of a day spa and a full running restaurant. To the part where the gentlemen I know are very interested in, I will take you down to the next slide. These are the dimensions of the basement, which will be fully equipped to handle any sort of business meeting or transaction that may transpire. With a fully staffed security team, we intend to have a private entrance going around the back to be used with discretion for anybody that does not wish to partake in the front offerings of the property. We also have, as follows, gun safe, private medical bay, and a fully stocked cigar bar. Now, while there will be an independent restaurant running on the property, we intend to have private chefs that will be employed, especially for the basement, that cover kosher and halal meals. The basement will also be fully soundproofed and will have a bulletproof paneling on all of the walls. We don't want to lose that resale value, am I right? Now, a picture may be worth a thousand words, but a name, a name is worth a million dollars. So, after much back and forth between the Doherty's and our consultants, in England, I have decided on what the name would be. And Daddy, I, I think this one may be very special to you. As it is my first club, I have decided to name it after a place where rabbits can feel safe. The Hutch. All of it. All of it will be The Hutch. The restaurant will be, insert name, at The Hutch. The club will be, insert club name, at The Hutch. In the basement, the basement is private that's the real hutch. I feel very proud about where this project is headed and in a room full of people who do not have college educations except for a few, I would say that this, this goes above and beyond any industry standard that anyone could meet from any university with any amount of education. And none of it would have been possible without the support and the guidance, maybe a little too much guidance on some people's parts, from everybody here in this room. Thank you guys so much. And once these all get emailed off to England and everything gets dotted and crossed, it's happening. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
All right, let's all fucking eat. Antonia. Okay, okay, yeah, um, you're here. Did you, um, Dom, Dom said that you, you caught a, caught a flight here. Um, obviously, that's how you got here. Um, was it, was it good? Was the, yeah, no, that, that's good, yeah. British air is, uh, it's hard to beat. I mean, I assume. <laughs> I've flown it. Still in, uh, still in Warsaw, or you're okay? Yeah, yeah. Prague, Prague is, uh, Prague's great. Prague sounds great. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's on the list for potential, potential clubs. So. Great. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they've grown so much since the last time you you saw them. I mean, you see them on social media and stuff all the time, but I mean, seeing them in person, they're 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 young men. It's a little it's a little scary, um, but you know, exciting. They're, they're good boys, so we're very proud. Hi, Mario. Oh my God, I'm so glad that you liked it. I, I did. I, I was a little nervous, but uh, once it started getting going, I, I, I just I just went with it, and it all it turned out great. Yeah, uh, we were we were catching up. It's been a minute. It's been a been a minute. You know, I'm uh, I'm gonna go get a drink, and you should you should go talk to the boys. You should talk to them. You should talk to you should talk to Matthew. You should talk to him about. He's got a lot of stuff coming up. He's He's coming up with the with the with the spring concert. He's got that, and then the musical. Um, that's coming up. Are you gonna be here for that? You're you're here for Easter, so you should you should spend some time here. You should just hang out. You should you should hang out. Yeah. She still hates me, Danny. She barely looked at me. <sighs> I know that. I know. I just I. I know that nothing bad happened. I know that Dom and I, we were adults. We fell in love. We got married. It's just, she, she just, you know, you know, Pony, look at them. Look at them all four vanishing their sisters together again. I'm probably standing over there talking about how my outfit's stupid. I'm gonna go change. Yeah, tell him, well, I would have really appreciated you telling me that you were coming home. I would have appreciated that you sent birthday presents to your nephews. I would have appreciated if you had talked to me like a fucking human being instead of acting like an asshole at my wedding and then just totally cutting me off. You didn't even call me when your husband fucking died. Like, that was such an accident. You were mourning too much. Okay. And you know what? While I'm at it, you want to twist me and Dom into something gross? It never fucking happened, okay? We were adults. Carly was already dead. Nothing happened when we were teenagers, all right? Even when he was buying us fucking Smirnoff ices and cigarettes, all right? He never tried anything. Not once. So if you want to make your own brother a villain, why don't you make him a villain over the fact that he's fucking incompetent, okay? But he is not that kind of guy. You're sick. And you know what? I know you killed him. Who the fuck falls off a balcony anymore, Antonia? Fucking please. You could have gotten a little bit more fucking creative. Those twists that you gave the Polish media, though, those were good. I'll give you that one. Happy fucking Easter.